morning. Let's reflect on the week and reflect on the day. You're right, we're close to wrapping up the week in business. There's one story I wanted to highlight for you. It's one we've been talking about at length. MacArthur Coal, yet another bid from MacArthur Coal. Now this one from a U.S.-based Peabody, which has now sweetened it. Right, that holiday closing the markets Tuesday through Thursday, so they are only open on Monday and today. And the market's off again once again with these uh, stock exchange of Thailand. There was a huge sell-off on Monday, some $65 million in shares. A uh, stock market off more than 2% as well. It was just last weekend we were reporting to you the deadly unrest in the capital of Bangkok. More than 20 people killed, more than 900 injured. The anti-government -pro protesters want the government uh, parliament to be dissolved and they want the prime minister to step down. Francine? Melissa, thank you so much. Good morning, Andrea. We're not only talking about Toyota, but Lexus, the story brand, of course, a huge profit driver for Toyota. Well, the call today to stop making the GX460, it's an SUV, and the stop to make it until late April, the 28th. Now, it's Consumer Reports magazine that published a story telling its readers not to buy the Current offer, 16 Australian dollars cash per share. MacArthur now saying it will engage in some talks with Peabody. Now, how are the shareholders feeling about this? The second and third largest shareholders have conditional backing of Peabody's proposal. Stock performing strong, once again closing up 8.2% in trading today on the ASX 200. Just point out that's the highest we've seen since July 2008. This has really become a three-way battle. Also uh, interested in MacArthur Noble Group and New Hope as well. Now, we have the topic that simply will not go away, the strength of China's currency. America continues to press Beijing to let the yuan appreciate and also address what it calls the U.S. trade imbalances. It's certainly a debate that affects the entire Asia-Pacific region. Charlie Rose spoke with Singapore's Prime Minister and asked him for his views on this issue. Singapore's Prime Minister there with Charlie Rose. That's a wrap-up of the week, the day. Also here from Asia. Andrea, back to you in London. Have a lovely weekend. And you too.